Welcome to the Elevation Church London. We're so glad to have you join us today. It's the first Sunday in the month of April, so whether you're watching right here in London or from other parts of the UK, we wish you a glorious month. Get set to listen to wonderful testimonies and enjoy some time of heartfelt worship. I am excited and I hope you are as well. So do have an awesome time in God's presence. Hello everybody, good morning and welcome to service this beautiful Easter Sunday morning. We're so excited that you've decided to join the stream this Sunday morning and we trust God that at the end of the service you will go back the same way. I just want to implore every one of us joining the stream to join the opening prayers as we start the service today in Jesus name. Amen. Father, we bless your name, O oh God. We thank you, Father, for bringing us to church this Sunday morning. We know that you've, that everyone that has joined the stream, you directed their path to this moment. And we know that before, that at the end of the service, everyone will leave with an encounter. Father, we, we, we thank you because you are God and you are God all by yourself. We thank you for the gift of salvation, even as we mark Resurrection Sunday today. We thank you for the privilege to be called sons and daughters. We thank you for the privilege, O oh God, to fellowship with the brethren and call you Abba. Father, we bless your name, O oh God, because as many that have joined this stream in today's service, they won't go back the same way that they came. We thank you, Father, because this service, O oh God, we shall have signs and wonders in Jesus' name. We thank you, Father, because even as your word comes through your servants, we thank you, O oh God, because it shall transform lives. It will take hold in our hearts and it will transform lives in Jesus' name. Today will not just be another event, but it will be an encounter with you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, we just want to thank you for every one member of the Elevation Church London. We bless your name, O oh God, because we know that you are strengthening us, you are giving us grace, you are you're, you're providing and you're meeting needs even in our family in Jesus' name. Jesus name. Father, I just pray for every one person that is trusting you for something, that is trusting you for a job, that is trusting you for the fruits of the womb, that is that has a need. We ask, oh God, that you meet every one member of the Elevation Church at the point of your needs in Jesus' name. Father, oh God, we just want to pray for the NHS and the government. Father, we ask, oh God, that even as we continue to battle this this virus that is ravaging our society father we ask oh god and you give the nhs the strength oh god you give them the strength you give them the wisdom you give them the guidance oh god to continue fight to to continue fighting this battle from the front lines in jesus name father oh god we ask for wisdom and direction for the government even as we navigate these treacherous waters in this season lord we ask father that your word of god will reign in their hearts we ask oh god that you 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 will endow them with wisdom to pilot the affairs of this great nation the united kingdom in jesus name father we bless your name oh god because even in the safety of the land we shall dwell therein and you have given us this land that is what your word says and it is yea and amen in our lives we bless your name father we thank you for bringing us to the second quarter of the year we thank you father because in this next quarter we shall have encounters we shall grow exponentially in jesus name we thank you for that because everyone that is trusting you for something in this next in this next quarter father we ask oh god that you shall meet them at the points of your needs in jesus name thank you father because as a church family we 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 make strides even in this next quarter in the name of jesus we thank you father because in this next quarter you shall provide health to our bodies and and food to our tables and shelter over our heads in jesus name thank you father we bless your name oh god lord we pray for the service we ask oh god that even as your word comes through your servant we ask father that it shall transform lives it will take hold in our hearts and transform lives in jesus name thank you father for in jesus name we have prayed amen amen have a lovely time in god's presence today I started praying and trusting God for a second child at the beginning of last year. I waited almost the entire year and saw no sign of pregnancy. In the last quarter of that year, I attended the quarterly vigil tag night of increase and Pastor Godman said he had asked God for a gift to mark the 10 years anniversary. The gift was 100 babies to the congregation. I screamed and praised knowing that God will answer me. That same year, 
It seemed I was having biological signs of pregnancy, but after a blood test and scan, I wasn't pregnant. I went further to do medical checks to know if everything was okay, and I was told I had ovarian cysts. In response, I intensified my commitment to the morning prayers. By the end of that year, Pastor Godman gave a prophetic declaration during the morning prayers that wombs are opening for conception and I held on knowing I was the one. For every time I felt weighed down this year, I remembered those words and I will go back to replay the declaration. To God be the glory. Weeks after the January fast, I felt a nudge in my spirit to go for a pregnancy test and it was positive. I thank God. I thank him for a miracle of conception. And come October, which is also the TEC anniversary month, our baby will be here. Praise the Lord. Hey, young woman, what have I told you about knocking? Come in. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sweetheart. <laughs> so tell me what took you so long. Sorry, we'll come. You woke up late. Yes. Wait, Dad, I thought you got from his teacher. Why would you take your bath? Uh, are you trying to say I'm, 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 I'm smelling? No, but you have to have your bath. <sighs> okay, oh, before I forget, okay. Dad, have you listened to the song? Yes, I did. And guess what? I absolutely love it. In fact, Alexa, hit it. <laughs>
For your kids eight nine years and younger on our youtube channel just type seeds in the search bar and click the link to start their service to those joining our online service for the first time we say big welcome to you we have a short five minutes guest hangout immediately after the service so please use the link now showing to join us at the hangouts you can give your offering and tie via a secure online portal the link to give is now being displayed the Elevation Church London operates a small group system where members can connect and engage to foster spiritual maturity. To join a virtual small group, please send an email to smallgroups at elevationuk.org. Please, please just hide. Hey, you don't send anybody with now. Please hide me. Hide don't worry, me. Sh me. I will follow where, myself. Where, where can don't I hide? Where, where, where can I hide? Where can I hide? Come. Please hide me. Where the best way pass now? Have you hide somebody here? Please, please. Where the best way pass now? I'll ask you. Boss, I don't know. You don't know. You stand here. Not be following the man just now. You like cholesterol, you know. Well, I see more follow spider. I go drop you. Go follow spider now. I saw the person passing now. They ask you now. Mercy, please. Talk to me. What the person passing now? God of mercy, hide. I don't waste my time with the man. Baba, don't worry. I don't tell you now. Just calm. My whole face. Who's the guy? Oga, who are you? What are you doing here? Madam, please okay. hide me. I'm please. not working again. Me again. They are coming for me. I'm not working again. Madam, please hide me. Yeah. Okay. I'm Madam, not please again. hide me. Hide me. They are coming for me. I'm not a joke with you. Please hide me. I they are coming for me. For you. Hey, those boys. Those boys. Those boys. Those boys are the ones coming for me. Please hide me. Please. Okay. What thing you do? I did. What thing you do? I, I, I not do anything to them. Then I, why are they coming for you with you? I not do anything Madam, for them. Madam, please just hide me. Please. I, I will explain it later. Oh, yeah. To the wardrobe. Okay, not inside now. Ah, won't that be the first place they will check? I mean, you be bra. Sorry. Go behind it. I, I, I can't breathe in there. Mm. I can't. Okay, now. Well, come. Sit down. Come and sit down. Get all the air you want. S My friend. Sorry. Dear Lord, you said you will not forsake me. Oh, you can't God. Now, now you won't pray. Sorry, sorry. Shh. That's it. I hear you go past now. I tell you, Who there is us? Come put this door, Joe. I didn't come. I didn't come. What did they do? Why are you from? They come now. I didn't come now. They travel. I didn't come. Good. Come for a little job. Why for the call? Wait, man, we enter this house. No, 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 no. No man enter here. Nobody there here. Yeah, Chris. I beg. Not a shot for me, job. Uh -huh. Man, she's more important than talking to you. Not a shot for me. Not a shot for me. Make a hey. No, you for slap me now. You for hey. slap me. If I, if I sleep, I sleep for this house. Any boys? Boss. Ah. When I find out, I'll come outside. Not scatter my room, oh. <laughs> not scatter my room. Come on, those things there. Ogami, we don't see anybody here. I go tell the person no day here. I go tell the person no day here. Where he pass? No, he follow me. Where he go? We don't do anything because that guy there your bag. Go call the phone, baby. Go the phone, that guy, baby, baby. No, while I'm here. Eh? Nobody eh? there. What's it be that? What's it be that? You're not Nothing there, there. Ah. <laughs> Nobody Come there. Come over there. This girl wants to be hiding anything, no. 
Boss, you play a person I dig both for you. Ah, this one loud. Something I do you. I don't find person who draws spider, my boy. You don't see, but you don't see loud. What oh, my boss, you won't follow spider. What oh, my boss, your head. Movement. Yeah. Baby, baby, two pack. You know, you know we take inside. You, know, you follow person, you know, now you go, you see it. That's it. Nonsense. Take inside. <laughs> Oh. Are you serious? You really need to take care of this place. It's dusty and I'm allergic to dust. Oga. Okay. What is this? Oh yeah, come and be going. Just be going. Get out, please. But, but if I leave, they will find me. So? Just What's my me. business? Go come and use your own reggae to spoil my blues, though. I beg. Because if Jaguar comes here and finds you, it won't be funny at all. Okay, who is Jaguar? None of your business. Please go. Fine. Not fine. Please give me a phone. Can I make a call and I'll be out of your face? That's it. Just one call and you're out. Just one call and I'm out. Where's my phone? You should get a cleaner or something because this place. Never do mind. You, do, you, do you want this? Never mind. Just, just give me the phone. You might need to put the, the, the phone on speaker because my earpiece is bad. And wait, please. I need to play some music so no one will hear you. You have a time, right? Um, madam, do you have any other music apart from that? Hello? Oh, hello, sweetheart. Dad? Yes, yes, it's me, it's me. Where are you? That's my dad, did you get it? Cindy, be serious. Stop I singing. Can, um, can you I give... <laughs> yes. give the phone to Auntie Bumi? It's urgent. Daddy, where are you? The phone that you were doing for me. Are you on a date? No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not on a date. Just give the phone to Auntie Bumi. <laughs> not this sound like. Is she fine? Do I know her? She's not fine. I mean, she is. She is. But. You don't know her. Just give the phone to her. I have got my job, please. I promise to give the phone to her. Cindy, please, give her to me. Okay. All right. Um, young woman. I Can beg. I beg. Sort your issue fast and get out. Please, it's my daughter. Please. Please. Alright, that's enough. Can I please talk to Auntie Bumi now? It's urgent. Bye. Uh, no, it's me, it's me. You have to do that. Cindy, can I have my call now? Okay. Auntie Bumi! Auntie Bumi, Daddy wants to speak with you. Good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening, Bumi. Please listen carefully. Go to my study. There's a brown book on the table. Check the back page. You'll see Pastor Sheung. Please call that number and tell him I am at... I am at um, three Victoria Drive. Number three Victoria Drive. Salemon Road. Sale what? Salemon Road. Salemon Road. You should please send the units there. I will be hiding in the bush somewhere. Just you should please hurry up, please. Uh, Pastor, what's happening? Nothing. I do not have time to explain now. Just do as you are told first, and and please, do not tell Cindy. Okay. 
Okay, sir. Okay. Ha, has she taken her drugs? Yes, sir. All right. And also, when you get there and you've done that, it's all this number will be with the phone. Okay? And also, don't forget to... Um, hello? It must be the network. Hello? The network is bad here. Okay. You know, um, I probably will have to go with this phone so they can call me. And if possible, I might have to get you a new one because I don't understand why <laughs> you should be using this. Hmm. Okay, so it's okay. fine. Okay, okay, okay. No problem. You can go. I, I can go now. You can go, Oga. Okay. I'm leaving. You can go now. They left since. Help me check, please. Just help me check. Please. <laughs> Oga, nobody is there. You can't go. Are you sure? Just check because Oga, I'm hearing voices. Just why are you scared me? like this? I thought you were a pastor. Uh, okay. Uh, Oga, please, you can go now. No problem. I beg. I'm a pastor. That's no problem. I'm leaving. Okay. You can stay till morning. If they don't come for you till then, you are on your own. Thank you so much. God, God bless you. God bless you. Thank you so Have much. Have a seat. Do you want something to drink? No, no, no. I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> You better drink something before you faint. Okay. Do you have water? Check in the fridge. It's behind you. <sighs> you know, you haven't told me what happened. <sighs> yes, that's, that's true. So, we came into Lagos and... And that's what happened. I kept telling them, I am not a politician. I am not a politician. But they refused to listen. Hmm. What church were you going to? Um, God's throne ministry. Oh, I see there are posters everywhere. No wonder your face looked kind of familiar. Exactly. It should be from one of their no, numerous posters. Hmm. But... You said they were vandalizing. Just imagine. I don't think Jaguar would know about this. But who is this Jaguar? He's their number one. The number one? Is, is he a thug? No. He's a masseuse. He does body massage. Nonsense. You know what? You are just like the rest of them. You have absolutely no clue what's going on with the masses. As long as your congregation is filled with prim and proper people, you are fine. No sense. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <sighs> Jaguar is a thug. He used to be very violent, but now he's different. Mm. He's gentle 
I mean, he's, he's caring. He's not exactly the way he used to be. But when it comes to the point of being tough, he will break anyone's head. <laughs> but he's gentle. He's not like the others. Calm down. Oh. He, he will break anyone's head, yeah? I just said he's gentle. Okay. Um, where exactly is this um, Jaguar? Well, I don't know. He should be at the park or something. Okay. You know, he, what's today? Wednesday. Wednesday. He comes, he comes here every Wednesday. He comes to see me. If you, you know what? When he comes, you can just explain yourself to him. If he reasons with you, then you'll be safe. Oh, if Jaguar reasons with me, I will be safe. <sighs> Thank you. You know what? Can, can, I, can I ask you a question? Yeah, why not? What are you doing here? Here as in? Here as in here doing, you know, what, what you do. It's like you are becoming too comfortable. No, 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 no. Don't, don't be offended because I'm trying to understand why a lady like yourself, you sound so smart. You sound so intelligent. I'm trying to understand why a lady like you will be found in a very crazy dungeon like this. You know, never mind. <laughs> Let yeah. me ask you a question. There is no need to Do ask you any... Do you think... That a, when a child is born, she decides to become a prostitute? Or do you think she just decides to sleep with men for money? No, or but do I'll... you think if a child grew up in a home where she, her parents loved her and they didn't raise God's standards so high uh -uh, no. that she would become a whore? I didn't think so. No one, absolutely no one came for me because I didn't fit into all of your religious standards. At least here, I find people like Jaguar, who accept me and love me the way I am, even on days when I don't align. Um, I mean, you, my mom, my dad, you're all the same. Self-righteous bunch of, you're just, all the same. I, I, I am, I am, I am sorry. You know, Wait, I am oh, sorry. Where is this guy find that? Who is there? 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 Take off my clothes. I they come. Hurry up now. Tiana. Alpha. Alpha. What did happen? I want to collect your perfume. You not go buy your own. I shall walk up. I get customer today. So now the party can you go before? I just said you say now you collect customer again. Tiana, I get customer. Then you go come back now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh yeah, carry go, carry go. Okay, okay, wait, don't know. Tiana, carry the perfume. Waiting now, waiting. See, I'm there. Oh, okay. Madam. If you not do you well, then you. I go read one. Oh, I'm just sent to anywhere. Anywhere you want to, I go. Come they go, come they go ahead. I go tell Jaguar. See ya. I share one. Hey, come on, come on. Come they go. Let me set you the side. I go. Pick the call. Pick the call. Ah, it has it has caught. It has caught. Well, I'm trying to call back there. It's There's the no network. network. Just try, keep trying. <sighs> Nothing. Yeah. Thank thank you so much. I'm really grateful. And I'm I'm sorry about everything. You know, my late wife used to say. There's a story to everything. And I'm sorry I, I judged you. I'm sorry we judged you. You know, this is what Christ came to die for, but 
religion has blinded our eyes. Mm. I'm, I'm really sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Just... Take... I see her voice. I see her voice. I see her voice. I Ah, ah, please, you know, please, promise me anything. Not please. even politician. I, I am not a politician. Not politician. I am not. A hey. Hey. I talk, talk. I'm a man of God. Hey. Ma- hey. Ah, God, God, ah, God of mercy, God of mercy, have mercy now, God, have mercy. God of mercy. <laughs> I have a daughter, I have a daughter, I have a daughter, please, please. Jump I don't have a wife, she doesn't have a mother, I have a, I have a daughter, please. Not be even seven. politician, she's seven, please. Ah. Please. 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 I don't say go find Larry. Please. Don't find me lighter. Find me small, small. Ah, 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 uh, no need, no need, no need, no need, no need, please, please, oh yeah, please, let's talk man to man, man to man, man to man. No be politician, no be politician, no pastor, no pastor, no be politician. Pastor, they keep people happy. Never no, 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 Ah. You don't know to know my person be this. Now you can't do that. Ah. 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 God is vandalized and that place is father, his father died. Now lie. Scorpion. Scorpion. <laughs> Who carry boys in that street? Scorpion. Who carry boys in that street? No, 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 Yay! Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Jaguar! Yay! Yeah. Jaguar, are you okay? Are you okay? Drago! Snowman! You did, yeah! I'll wait for your command, boy. Yeah. Drago! Yeah. Quarry, boys! Pass off! Okay, stay here! Where'd they go? Are, are you okay? Come on! Come on! Must we go? I got it. They go. Are you okay? They go. Are you okay? Ah, ah. Let me see. Jaguar. Jaguar. Ah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Boss. Sit down. Are you okay? Ah. 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 Jaguar. This will get me, Sha. Ah. Ah. Mm. Just give me permission. I'm going to do this. Give me permission, man. Mm. Go delete. Mm. Mm. We not be like that. Hey. We not be like that again. Hey. Pastor, Drago, Pastor, oh. come. Oh. Uh, see, you need to relax. Please, please go and get someone to help him. Please, he's bleeding. Uh. Pastor, uh, let me go and get someone to help. Let me go. Hey. Let me go. Okay. Pastor. I don't talk. Help them. Just. I don't talk tire. I don't talk tire. You know they my body again. And your preaching changed my life. Pastor, help them. Help them. Okay? You know. 
Tik. Man, man go fail you. Oh God, no go shame us. Also. Just help. Just, just. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Let's take him out. Let's take him out of here. Let's take him out of here. Please. Please. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And while that might look like the end of one story, the truth is that with the resurrection story, the story of how God created the heavens and the earth, and then God made mankind, but then mankind fell short, sinned, and was deceived by the enemy. But even while mankind was lost in sin, God made a sovereign promise. In Genesis 3.15, we see God's promise when he turns to the devil, the serpent, and makes a promise that the seed of man would bruise the head of the serpent. So while that might look like the end of one story, the truth is that the resurrection story that God wrote for you and I promises that there would always be a new beginning. The possibility of a fresh start. The opportunity to reach beyond all of your disappointments, all of your pain. The disappointments of the story that you, you would like to leave behind and enter into the fullness of the resurrection that God promises you and I. And while we think about Nkem and Jaguar and all of their life story, I also think about a man that the Bible describes. And it's interesting that his first mention is in the book of Acts. His name is Saul. And his story opens with a very clear description of how he was consenting to the death of a good man named Stephen. This man Stephen was stoned and he died in full awareness of all that God had done for him. But yet, as Stephen breathed his last breath, the young man, Saul, was watching and looking and, and consenting to the murder of a man who loved God and was full of faith and full of the Spirit. And then Acts chapter 8 opens by telling us that this man, Saul, was fully intending to carry on in this murderous pursuit carry on in the persecution and the killing and the and, and and the death of many more followers of Jesus but even this man Saul the murderer that he might have been even this man Saul had a morning after story had a resurrection story when he embraced the new beginning that God had for him and we see that as he journeyed on the road to Damascus he saw a bright light and Jesus reached right down to where he was and gave him an entrance into a resurrection story.
Now John 12 and verse 24 tells us that unless a grain of wheat falls into the ground and dies, it abides alone. But, but, but if it does fall into the ground, it produces much fruit. So I don't know where exactly you're standing today or what exactly your story may have been up until this point. Perhaps just like Psalm 30 and verse 5 says, weeping has endured for a night. Maybe you've carried on this guilt and this persecution and, and, and you're surrounded by a story that you just wish you could cry out and say, God, change my story, change my story. Give me a fresh new beginning, a fresh morning story. If you're right in that spot or right in that place where you're, where you're desiring to embrace a new beginning, let me just give you three really quick ways that you can embrace a new beginning. First thing from John 12 and verse 24, Jesus says, unless a grain of wheat falls into the ground, I'd like you to go into the ground of whatever seeds have been sown into your heart right now. The Bible says that if our heart condemns us, God is greater than our hearts. Whatever the condemnation that may live in your heart in this season, whatever it is, whatever that enemy may have told you concerning how you can never amount to much, never aspire beyond where you are, there is something in the ground of your heart that God can use in this season, that God can speak to in this resurrection season. And just like Jesus was promised to mankind for the redemption of our souls and to restore us once again to friendship and family with God. Go into the ground of your heart this morning and embrace what God has for you. Second thing I want you to know today in embracing a new beginning. Jesus said here that unless a grain of wheat falls into the ground and dies it is time for you to lose your taste for the things that defile it's time for you to put away those things that that are so easily tripping you up the bible talks about sins and weights sins and weights hebrews 12 and verse 1 and 2 he says it's time to lay aside those sins that easily beset you and to lay aside those weights. You know, many of us are familiar with our sins. We know our sins so well. We know the do's and we know the do nots. We know the religious list of what to do and what not to do. So we're very familiar with our sins. But let's talk a little bit about the weights today. What are those weights that seem to be dragging you down? That seem to be putting stumbling blocks on your pathway into the new beginning the beautiful beginning that God has for you you know Jesus was buried he was crucified and he was buried and we know that he rose up triumphantly on the resurrection morning to give you and I a new life but there are weights that stand in the way there are weights sometimes that we choose to embrace and choose to believe over and above the knowledge of God. Those weights like our guilt. Those weights like our regrets. Those weights sometimes can just be the habits that we have embraced through the years. And God is reaching out for you today and, 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 and speaking again over you and telling you, I have a beautiful new beginning for you. I have a beautiful morning after story that is written right just for you. And if you will choose to believe this morning that God is greater than your heart. If you will choose to believe today that God already wove the tapestry of your life together and is reaching out just for you regardless of who you are and where you've been perhaps in this past year you've done things and been places and attempted things that you never thought in your life you would ever attempt and maybe the burden of that guilt has has kept you in a place where you're not even believing God for new dreams and new hopes and a brighter story 
in embracing your new beginning today, I think it's time for you to lose your taste for the things that defile. Lose your taste for the things that weigh you down. Lose your taste for the things that slow you down on the journey of life and destiny. And then the third thing I want you to know today in embracing a new experience in this Easter season. He says here in John 12, 24, that unless a grain of wheat falls into the ground and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it produces much grain. Hallelujah. He says, he who loves his life will lose it. And he who hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. If anyone serves me, let him follow me. And where I am, there my servant will be also. If anyone serves me, him my father will honor. The third thing I want you to do today in embracing that beautiful new beginning that God has for you in this resurrection season is to serve him and follow him. Doesn't matter where you've been, doesn't matter what you have done. God has a resurrection story for you. The same God who turned Saul of Tarsus, the murdering man, Saul of Tarsus, and transformed him into that Paul who wrote more than two thirds of the New Testament. He would write to the Corinthian church, I, Paul, a bond servant of Jesus. I, Paul, an apostle of Jesus. He would write to the Colossian church. He would write to 2 Timothy, 1 Timothy, and boldly declare, I am a bond servant of Jesus. Regardless of what his history had said, he had a beautiful new beginning. And God has a beautiful new beginning just for you. Now, you recall that we had a guest minister um, unfortunately, he wasn't able to be here on time, but we'd still like him to say a few words. Can you put your hands together and celebrate on this beautiful Resurrection Day, Pastor Louis? I met the Son of God today. He doesn't look like us. He doesn't sound like us. He doesn't even act like us. But he is loved by the one. I was made to realize how judgmental, self-righteous, distrustful and fearful I have become. I, <clears throat> I have been so alienated from God, the one who called and saved my soul, yet I, I, I had no clue. I unwittingly joined those who make God's standards so high and unattainable. Loving him so difficult and nearly impossible, which, which, which shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. For that, I repent. Because that's not what salvation is all about. It's an open door to a room filled with love, care, and acceptance acceptance that's that's what Christ came to die for because on our own I am nothing y you 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 are nothing so whoever you are whether a pastor or a thug or a sex worker or a politician Christ came to pay the price for you. There's no need to cover what I when we realize that, only then will our light shine. You've got the morning after. you 
before you knew it was love i saw it all still i chose a crowd you were the one that i was thinking of when i rose from the grave now read of the shackles my victory is yours i tore the veil so you could come close there's no reason to stand at a distance anymore you're already love i'll be a lighthouse when you're asleep. jesus came and died for you and i, I will it doesn't matter what name or banner has been written over you. God has a better story for you. And where life or the enemy may have written an end into your story and given you up for lost. Saul of Tarsus was introduced to us as a murderer, consenting to the murder of a good man. But yet, God had a better story written for him. A beautiful resurrection story for him. A morning after story for him. And the same God is able to reach you and to save you. Come. Regardless of where you are, come. Regardless of where you stand, come. This is what Jesus paid his blood for. This is what Jesus gave his life for. To restore you, to restore me. If you've never said a prayer giving your heart to Jesus, this is as good a time as you will ever have. Or maybe you've said this prayer at some point in the past, but you know you need to repent from something. You know this morning that you need to go into the ground of your heart and receive a freshness from God. Wherever you are connecting to this service from. If you're willing and ready to embrace a beautiful new beginning. I want you to put your hand on your chest. And say this prayer with me. Say dear God. I come to you today because I know that you have the power to save me. And regardless of what I've done, regardless of where I've been, there is power enough in the sacrifice of Jesus to restore me to you again. So today, God, I repent. I repent of wrong behavior. I repent of wrong thinking. I repent of wrong believing. I repent of not thinking you were strong enough or power enough, powerful enough or, or loving enough to save me today I embrace a new beginning in you wash me clean in the blood of Jesus make me new and restore me into your family thank you God for the salvation that is in Christ Jesus today I embrace a beautiful new morning a beautiful new day in Jesus matchless name we pray now can you go ahead and celebrate God, celebrate God, celebrate God. Welcome into the family of God. Welcome into the family of God. You have a new name. You have a new beginning. A beautiful morning after story. So rejoice in him. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You can have your seats. Thank you so very much. The Bible says that there is great rejoicing when even one sinner comes to the knowledge of God. So where you are, I want you to know that there is great rejoicing in heaven about this decision that you've made. Now, if you're connecting with us on social media, there are people in the chat room who are waiting to give you a bit more information about how you can stand strong with this new decision that you've made. So please go into the chat room and type in there, I just gave my life to Christ. Please go ahead and type in the chat room, I just gave my life to Christ. If you're watching us on TV, some numbers will scroll across the screen. Please save that number and reach out because someone wants to give you a bit more information about how you can stand and soar with this new decision that you've made. Welcome to the family of God. God bless you. 
Now, if this is the very first time that you're joining us at any service of the Elevation Church, I'd like to say a very big welcome. Welcome. This is the Elevation Church. And our purpose, our mission is to make greatness common. Thank you so much for logging on today and for joining us on this wonderful Resurrection Sunday, this day where we remember again the sacrifice of Jesus for you and I, restoring us to God and bringing us back into the family of God. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Elevation Church. Please do let us know if this is your very first time worshiping with us. We would love to receive you and we would love to welcome you warmly. God bless you. Now, on this Resurrection Sunday, I'd like to invite you to give. We, we love to give at the Elevation Church. And as we think about the sacrifice that Jesus made, we're again, we're again encouraged and reminded to bring a gratitude, a, 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 an offering of gratitude to God today and to celebrate him on this first Sunday of the month and of this first Sunday of the quarter and on this Resurrection Sunday. Hallelujah. It's a great opportunity to give to God and to bless his name. Um, there are many ways by which we give here at the Elevation Church and you will find these scrolling on the screen right now. Now, whatever your purpose of giving, please ensure to label it properly. Let's know if you're giving an offering or if you're giving a tithe today. Um, if there's any pledge you're redeeming, also let us know so that we can account for it properly. If you're ready today, if you have your offering prepared, let's say a prayer together. Heavenly Father, thank you for this seed. Thank you, Lord, because today we give in gratitude to you to thank you for all that you have done and for all that we know that you will do. We ask that this will delight your heart and it will bring joy to you. We pray today that for everyone who is trusting you, Lord, to have a seed in their hand, that, Lord, you're the God of heaven. You said you are the one who supplies seed to the sower and bread to the eater. Supply seed to that one, O oh Father, and cause them to return with a harvest of thanksgiving. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you once again for signing up and for joining on this Resurrection Sunday. Have a blessed week ahead and may the fullness of God continually be made new in you. Embrace your morning after and your beautiful resurrection story. In Jesus' mighty name. incredible time in God's presence today. If you would like to share your thoughts and experiences from this service, please do this on our social media channels at Elevation LDN. We can't wait to hear from you. Also subscribe and follow us at Elevation LDN so you can receive prompt updates about other upcoming activities and events. Have you got any testimonies about the goodness of God in your life? Please share them with us via email to testimony at elevationuk.org. As we step into this month with joy, Please remember to check on your friends and your loved ones and also pray for them as we encourage and strengthen each other in this season. You want to know more about us? Please visit our website elevationuk.org. That's it for our service today. We'll say bye for now. God bless you and see you next week. Elevation Church means a lot to me, a whole lot, even more than I can put in words really. Um, but here I, I found family, I found home, I found a community of people that actually care. I've been able to build relationships with people through the Connect group. That I am where I am today, it's because of the tutelage, because of the leadership, because of what I have heard from the pupils. And I found out that the things that I was praying to God about, you know, trusting God for, they were being addressed as I was going for service on a consistent basis. I've had answered prayers, people have joined me in prayers and I've seen things working. My spiritual life has developed a lot. Elevation is not a church where they will force you to do stuff. You won't know when you start doing things. You know, it's one thing to be in a place and actually be vulnerable and then not feel judged, but then from being vulnerable, people make you better. I thank God for my journey 
you know, since I joined Elevation Church, things have turned around for me. I've experienced, you know, acceleration in my job. Elevation Church is um, like a conscience that picks you every day. My Elevation experience is a beautiful one. I am enjoying God. This is really where I should have been all the while. And I'm happy that I am here at this time. And I would always be here. I would not go anywhere. It's Elevation Church or New Order.